Hello everyone, Mr. Sans Mover here. And today is going to be a tutorial on how to model swap in Borderlands 3. Now you may wonder why we're covering Borderlands 3, and that's because Epic NNG reached out to me and actually asked me to try to figure this out. And I've never played a Borderlands game before, but I decided to help out. And so here is the result. So today, I'm going to be swapping a head for the character model. So I'm going to be using a Vault Boy head. Uh, I have my model right here that I've downloaded. And that's where we're going to be starting off. So I'm going to be using U model for this. So the first thing I want to do is open U model. We're going to actually need to use this special version of U model that allows us to open the meshes and textures for Borderlands 3. I'll leave all this in the description. So go ahead and launch you model. It's going to ask for the path to the game files. So my path is here. I'll go ahead and paste that in the top. Where it says override game detection, you'll select Unreal Engine 4 and then select Borderlands 3. It has its own option. I'll hit OK. It's going to ask for an AES key. I will also leave this key in the description. And we will just paste that there. And now you can see it's loading the game files. So after that, it should pop open our game directory. So for today, I'm going to be editing a Moe's head. So that's going to be under the folder Player Characters, Customizations, Gunner, Heads. And the one that I have on my character is, I believe, Gunner Head 7. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. It looks like this. So this is the head that's on my character. We're going to go to Tools export current object and we need to give it a location to export to so i'm actually going to create a new folder here called base game files oops for my upward my export sorry uh and we'll paste that there and hit okay and it's going to export all the files that we need including the mesh and the textures so now if we go here, we can see we have a bunch of folders made. So this is going to have like just random textures that our materials reference. But the ones that we really want are in player characters in the folder that we just looked at. So here we have our model in PSK. We have our textures right here. And then I'll open these and I'll open... the new textures as well i want the head which is going to be this texture this texture this is the ambient inclusion does this work not sure but basically we need to make our textures work with the in-game textures so let me open all of the head textures that I have here. So first we have our normal. That's an easy one. We're going to put our normal on the normal. And we want to make sure that the textures are actually the same size. We're going to use the size of the original normal. Fortunately, these are the same size already, so we can just overlay that and we're good to go. This one, actually, I am not really entirely sure what it does, but what I can do is just overlay the whole thing as green and just leave it like that and call it a day. Basically just overriding it so it doesn't give us weird, um, weird stuff with the shading. So this one is the hair. So this is so that you can change your hair color and it will affect the hair on your model. So I'm actually going to go and take the hair here and try to... Actually, this already has a skin. So we can take this. We're going to put it here. Keep the canvas size. we got to make sure it's the same size as the original. We're going to invert this 
so that the white is the um, the hair. And then I'm going to just overwrite the black here. And that should be good. So that's where all the hair is. Okay, now that I've got all my textures saved, I can go ahead with making sure that our model is matched. So we're going to open up Blender. I use 2.79, but you can do this in 3 plus if you feel like it. I'm going to import our PSK. Uh, I'm going to have to scale down 5.01 to see it, but I'll scale that back up later. So this is our base game head. I'm going to import my custom head, which is an FBX. I believe that is the head, yes. So I'm going to position this properly so that it matches the base game head. Okay, so I'm just going to put the head right on top of the other head and call it a day. Um, first things first, I want to unparent this from its own skeleton, which you may or may not have. Um, but I want to apply object transform and then unparent that. Where is it? Here it is. So we just want this to be separate from its parent. No big deal. I can apply these transforms again. I want to delete that old armature. We want to make sure the new armature is named armature. We have our gunner head. We have our ball boy head. So we want to delete all vertex groups of the head we're importing. So we'll delete all groups. We want to delete vertex colors. If there are any, we'll delete those. And then we want to select our head, select the base game head, and hit Control Shift T for me. Um, but transfer mesh data is what you're looking for. I'll hit vertex groups. We want to hit source layer is all layers. And then we will delete our base game head, drag our new head to our armature with parent to object, and then add a modifier of armature and set it to the new armature. And now we should be able to go into pose mode and pose this. Um, but it's going to look a little wonky because we need to fix our weights. So yeah, you can see how that looks already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weight the entire head to the neck bone so that it all moves together. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to go to the head under vertex groups and I'm going to go into edit mode, make sure all of them are selected and for every, um, well, for the spine end, I'm going to assign one neck, I'll assign one. And for everything else, I'm going to remove. Okay, so now if you were going to do a full on swap where all of these bones were rigged and this mouth actually moved, this is where you would weight everything. But since we're just doing a basic head swap, I just am going to leave the weights to the neck bone and call it a day.
So next thing I want to do is make sure the materials are all set up. So the materials on this guy is just the one base material. But you can see as we imported from the gunner, there's three materials here. So I'm going to want to make sure that this has three material slots. So we're going to do the gunner head, gunner eyes, and the gunner mouth to match the original gunner. And for the head, we can import the texture that we just created, which is going to be one of these. Yeah. And we can see how that looks if we turn on material mode, add a light. Beautiful. Hello. Happy. So there's our vault boy. Uh... I'm going to go ahead and delete that lamp so we don't export it. And we should be all good to export. So I'm going to make sure that we only have these two. This one seems the armature. Um, we have the modifier on. They're both located at zero zero oh and i need to make sure that this is actually scaled back up from before so i'm going to scale back up by 100 so that it's zeroed out to where we found it and then i'm going to export well first i'm going to save as vault boy head here and then I'm going to export at a scale of 0 0.01. You won't always need to do this, but my plugin exports at 100 times scale. So I need to scale down by 100 on export. But this part's very important, which is to uncheck the add leaf bones button when you export. And then we can export that with the same name as the original file that we were replacing. So what was that called? Here. .fbx. I'm gonna export that. And now we're good with Blender. So we're gonna have to open up Unreal. I already have an Unreal project made, but if you don't, You'll have to download Unreal version 4.20 in the Epic Games Launcher and then create a new project and put it in your working directory somewhere. Alright, so now that Unreal is open, you're going to want to create a folder where we're going to place our new models and textures. So we're going to have to replicate the exact location that we found them. So you can find that by going back to our export which was in my working directory. So it's going to be, this is a top level folder. And we're going to need player characters, customizations, gunner heads, gunner head 07. Make a new folder here. Model break. Should be model rig and there's going to be another folder here called textures so we can take our textures that we have here put them in the textures folder and we can take our model that we have here and put it in the rig folder. When we import, it's going to ask if we want to create a skeleton, create a physics asset. We'll just go ahead and import. Okay. We can delete this texture because we just dragged that in. It's not really important here. And this material is important. This is going to have to go in a separate materials folder, um, which we can also see in our base game files. 
under Gunnerhead model materials. This is the material that our Gunnerhead uses. Gunnerhead 07. So move that there. Delete this one. Go ahead and control shift S to save everything. We'll double click the gunner head and make sure that the material for the gunner head is that material that we just made. And it will save again. Um, and if you want to see how it's going to look, we can open the material and actually drag in this texture to the base color. It's not crucial, but it'll tell us what the model is going to look like. So this is what our gunner is going to look like. Um, one thing that we do also want to take note of is that this mesh in the model uses a few different tech materials as well. So if we take a look at the output here, um, we can see the exact material paths that we are going to need to take a look at. Nope, we have gunner mouth. And we have gunner eyes are the ones we want to recreate. Uh, and that's going to be in these locations. So it's going to be player characters, gunner shared, model material. Let's just copy this. Gunner. Actually, let's... We can go ahead and look for it here. It's going to be your gunner shared model materials. So we're going to need these eyes and mouth, which is what we assigned in Blender earlier. So if we remember in Blender, our materials are eyes and mouth. So we're going to have to recreate eyes and mouth. And these are in this folder. So it's going to be in gunner shared model materials here and we're going to create a new material which is going to be called eyes and another one named mouth and then we're going to go to our rig going to add two new material slots. One is going to be the eyes, the first one, and the second one is going to be the mouth, just like we assigned in Blender. And once we're done with that, everything's all hooked up properly, everything's named properly, we're going to go ahead and go to File, Cook Content for Windows. Okay, and once that's finished, we want to go to our Unreal project into Saved, Cooked, and then into the Content folder and find the model and textures that we just added. So it's going to be under Gunnerhead Model. We actually don't care about the materials. We actually want to delete the materials to make sure we don't use those. So in order to pack, I'm going to use U4 Pack. Um, you can use other repacking methods, but this is the one that just works easiest for me for this game. So we're going to copy, actually, we can just go ahead and copy this content folder over. Um, so everything's in the pr proper locations. It gets a bit difficult if you make multiple mods in the same spot, but we're just going to want to make sure that we have only the files that we need. So we'll delete the materials for textures. We actually want to go ahead and delete the U asset and the UEXP for each of these. Um, because all the data is stored in the U bulk. Um, and then we're going to go into rig and delete the skeleton and the physics asset because it's going to use the base game for those. 
And then the last thing, we're going to have to run this Python script. It's a custom script that I wrote, which will fix the UHP into the proper format for Borderlands 3 specifically. So we can go ahead and drag the UHP onto the Python script and it should work. We can tell it works. Well, because we'll have to open this with uasset GUI, another thing I'll leave in the description. And we're going to open this file here. It's going to give us an error. That is actually a good thing because it's telling us that we changed the UEXP without changing the uasset. So what we want to do to fix that is just open it and save it. Make sure that we're on 4.20, by the way. So once we save it, we'll see two .back files. Those are the old files. We're going to delete those. And then to make sure that we're all good to go, we're going to try to reopen it. And we should not see an error. And so this is going to be our model right here. And we should see our references to the proper material, proper skeleton. Um, so that should be all good to go. So I'm going to run this pack file and it'll give us a pack. I'm going to name it something dumb so that I know load last in the order. Basically, it has to come alphabetically after all of these pack, pack chunks, or you can put it in a mods folder, which will also work. Um, but I'm going to dump that right here. And we're going to run Borderlands and see what happens. Now we are in Borderlands. And as you can see, I'm wearing my beautiful Vault Boy head. Go ahead and continue. I can go into photo mode. Look around at myself. Hey, what's poppin', fella? I'll head over to customization to see what is up. You can see I'm actually wearing the head. Uh, looks like there's a little texture issue here. Probably oh, something man. to do with the overlays. The hair overlays. So if I try to change something like the color... This is my equipment color. Try to change our... Yeah, if I try to change the color of our equipment, see, you can change the hair red, and change the hair brown. Um, and uh, if you had more, you'd be able to see more, but I do not. So, <laughs> so I think that's all we're going to get for now. Um, works with emotes. I can do an emote for you right now. Hey! Not that one. We'll do this one. Hilarious. So funny. So anyway, that is how you mod Borderlands 3. I hope everybody has a fun time with this. Um, appreciate you guys. Appreciate Epic NNG for bringing this to my attention. And I hope you guys run wild with it. Peace.